Well, University of Tennessee officials want to make sure the name Neyland Stadium lives on. Today, university leaders and pilot officials announced a partnership to preserve Neyland. And that is number one in our top four for this afternoon. 10 Sports reporter Emily Ray Cochran is live on the UT campus to break down what it means. Emily. Yeah, thanks guys. Tennessee and Pilot are partnering up for a 20 year deal to preserve the name of Neyland Stadium. And the big question surrounding this partnership is will Neyland Stadium remain Neyland Stadium? Will it keep its name? And the answer to that is yes, it will. And the interesting thing about this entire partnership is that Pilot actually bought the rights to the naming rights to Neyland Stadium, but they're deciding not to touch it at all because of the respect for Neyland and its history. The company is choosing to keep the name the same and Tennessee believes it's the first naming rights uh, deal of a stadium where the name is remaining the same at all in college sports and CEO of Pilot Adam Wright said there was never a point in time when Pilot thought about changing the name. It was always going to stay Neyland Stadium and Wright said it's an honor to partner with such an iconic athletic program named after General Robert Neyland. I would say General Neyland deserves to have a stadium you know, named after him. Service to our country, his great courage, um, his winning tradition. Um, it was a non-starter for us to even contemplate you know, changing the stadium name because he deserves it. And Emily, just to clarify here, there won't be any additions to the original name of Neyland Stadium. <laughs> Yeah, so it'll be Neyland Stadium, but there is a tagline. It's technically Neyland Stadium, home of the Vols, preserved by Pilot. But just to clarify, we asked UT Athletics, and they pretty much said everything will stay the same. It's just going to be Neyland Stadium. That'll just be the tagline, guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the clarification. Emily, thank you.